Hello everybody, this is Spirelli and welcome back to Beholder 2. We have uh, Maria Curie to get to know. Sorry, I was a bit distracted by people just walking into me. How are you doing, Maria? But I can be like they say. Could be better, you mean? Yes. So I learned her language, but now she's talking brokenly my language, which is a bit confusing. And who is this with you? The discard. Do not show what we are talking about him. Why? Will be worse later when they hold me, when people don't see us. He will ask and hit, hit and ask, and then, then calm down, Maria. Okay, okay, cannot cry. I can do it. Where is your family? My family is in my country. You don't talk to them. Only my thoughts. They do not give me telephone. Are your living conditions all right? They obviously not. She told us that already. They put me in the house together with guard. Do you need anything? Food I have. Life I don't. What? I want to go home, Evan, or to die. How did you end up in a ministry? The special forces of your country took me. I'm a geneticist and neuroscientist. I gave report for international conference. Took you? Yes, from the hotel room at night. They gave me table, gave me papers, test tubes, microscope. They gave where to sleep and a guard. Oh, sorry. Why? For everything. It's Evan. It was not you. Your country did it. You are a prisoner too, but only without a guard. You're all caged here. Do you ask anyone for help? Maybe someone else knows your language? I don't know I can trust Evan. Maybe you too are spy and will make it worse for me. I'm not a spy. How do I know? But I cannot be sad anymore, so I want to at least speak my language. Okay, let's try and help her then. Oliver? I found out why Maria Curie isn't working. Can we talk about this? Spit it out. Tell them that the guard is raping her. The guard who was assigned to her, well, he beats and rapes by her every night. The guard? Who the hell does he think he is? She wasn't brought here for this. Can you do something about this? Fine, I'll talk to him. Okay, good. Could have gotten myself with a shitload of money, but I think this is more important. Do anything about Carl Zero? Yes, I looked into that at one point. He's the first clone of a man named Carl Stein. I wanted to know what was so different about him that they decided to make copies. And what did you find out? Nothing. An ordinary middle-aged man with average intelligence and health. You can request the data from the archive if you want. It's all in there. Thanks. I'll try. Um... Okay. Okay. There's nothing new here. Clone vaccine. Leave it about the world of the leader. Okay. What do we have? Vaccinate five people. Uh, and then it's like all the clones. Find out the address of Kalstein's last place of work. Get rid of them. Get promoted. Science and crime. I direct you. Okay. Carl, can I promote you? I need to inject you with this vaccine. Intervention in the back camera. Process of a clone is permitted only with proper authorization. Is my authority enough? Admission received. Ready for the procedure. Okay, let's do this five times. Not at all boring to do the exact five, same thing with like the exact same lines five times in a row. But explains why there's five of them here. Now that we're done with that, uh, I guess I need to find out about the archives. Can I talk to Maria? <laughs> Maria? Is your life better now? <laughs> hmm. There's nothing new to talk about here. I talk to the guard. How's your ward doing? Ward, ha, huh, she's an idiot. Just mumbles in her own language. I can't understand a thing. But she has a hell of an ass, right? When you hit that. Um, come on, don't be shy. I'm not, she ain't gonna tell anyone anyway. Yes. You are a miserable piece of shit. Okay. Can I use the phone? Trace the archives. 
Uh, no, I can't. That was 15 minutes wasted. I would like to look into his workplace, if he could get out of there. But he probably is on a specific schedule. Now he goes out. That's nice, because I really want to go in there and check. Right? Was Wait, was I used before? No. No, no, no. Was it the other ones before? Uh... What do we have here? That's you. Doesn't show us too much. Uh, the Ministry of Social Care wishes to announce its annual lottery. This year's prize is an exclusive burial plot in the 34th row of the Central Cemetery. Any citizens planning to die in the next 12 months is eligible for, to participate. The prize cannot be sold or transferred to another person. There is comfort, comfortable grave waiting just for you. This we've seen. Quote on. Provide a certificate of disability as soon as possible. In the event of failure to write a certifi certified certificate, your ministry employment quota will be revoked. Interesting. Oh, hey there. Fast typing for everyone. Picking code locks. And I stole stuff, so I'll be checked. But that is just the way things go. No information and a letter. I remember the day your mother and I went to the coast. Everything changed when you were born. But back then, we still had a coast no, not poisoned by fuel from sunken military tankers. Without the burned corpses of young soldiers, both ours and Boreen's, who died in that senseless war. On that sunny day, your mother and I drank three bottles of wine, swam until it got cold, and then warmed ourselves up in each other's arms under a light warm blanket. I remember that day as clearly as if it was yesterday. Because the day we conceived you is the second heaviest day of my life. The first one is the day you were born. Yeah, that's what every kid wants to know is how would their parents fuck to conceive them. Thank you for details. And then I haven't been in her workplace. Yeah, you do something else. Yeah, I want your workplace for now. Yep, another one. her holding a certificate. On the basis of directive number 6970, the circular herby null circular number 83924, extending orders of the leader number 9707 on circulars and directive. Take notice and report upon its implementation. Sure, I have no idea what it said. Last weekend, united we stand, last weekend our victorious troops launched a decisive offensive on all fronts, advancing a considerable dis Dance. The enemy is broken and demoralized. The soldiers have laid down their weapons and surrendered. In order to deliver the last decisive blow, the leader calls on all those who stayed behind to give up their weekends and contribute part of their salary to the war fund. I think I had to do that uh, voluntarily at home with my bills, you know. Okay, one more of those. Diary page. James was a good man. He was so reliable and strong that you felt confident in yourself when he was nearby. I'm very sad that we aren't as close friends as before. My distrust probably applies to everyone now. He's given me no reason for it, but my persecution complex manages to find suspicious details everywhere, in every phrase and look. As they say, just because you're paranoid doesn't mean you're, they aren't after you. And it seems to be that the sincere desire to help and to uncover the inner circus hiding something else. Someone else, to be precise. Someone at the top of the IID is sticking around for the inner circle. Though I wish to hold all my colleagues to account, the presence of one more piece on the chessboard frightens me. That's why I don't trust James. Oh, should I not trust James? Hmm. Let's head home for now, because I'm not gonna do the work. I am a rebel. Hey, yes, I know I stole. What do I owe you? 400 for each stolen. Here, I can pay now. Okay, thank you. It was important for me to steal. Now I get to go home. I need to call to figure out more about the address of Karlstein and 
then I need to read a bunch of books and I only need to watch one TV show because apparently it doesn't matter whether I watch the other or maybe it does but he's like oh I wouldn't discuss this with you but then maybe he will be happy I don't know I won't waste Evan it worked Horatio I didn't expect to see you again didn't you say that you had a limited number of jumps I have no limits now Evan but let's cut to the chase recently opened up an archive and there was a lot of money from your time inside you could use it for experiments, but I thought it would be worthy reward for someone like you. Like me? Well, yes. You were just following my orders. Give me the money. I wasn't expecting it, but I'm not going to turn it down. That's the right attitude. How often do you have the honor of receiving money from the hands of the brightest mind of your distant future? Well, actually, it's just money. Well, actually, I didn't expect that you would appreciate... I didn't expect that you would appreciate the moment. You never came across as a smart type. Okay, let's get on to business. All right, here. Though whether we'll meet again or not, most likely not. I do not want to come back here. But if you happen to see me walking down the streets, don't come up to say hi, okay? Why? I just don't want to. Bye. Yeah, glad we had this conversation. Off you go. At least I got some money out of it. Heating payment, clutch for the Air Force. I can pay all my bills. Let's make some phone calls, read some books, watch some TV. You know, average evening, everything's fine. Dial number, call the archive. Request information about Carl Stein. Fulfilling request. Carl Stein, personal file classified. The dossier was destroyed by order of the Ministry of Cutting Egg Scientific Developments. Last place of work, the manager of a Class D apartment building at 6 Krushwitz Street. Thank you, that's something to go on. Okay, I have nothing to talk uh, to James about, but I did find out that my father didn't trust him. Go to 6 Squashwick Street, three hours, let's go. I wonder what we'll find there. You arrive at 6 Squashwick Street and try to question the tenants about Carl Stein, the previous building manager. Few tenants remain from that time. Currently, they're all gathered in one apartment ready to talk. You find out that Carl's wife was called Anna, their son was Patrick and their daughter was Martha. Everyone in the building loved Martha especially. Talk to the old man. This is Mike Rannick, an honored archive worker. He remembers Carl Stein and his family very well. Ask about Anna. A good housewife she was, but the only words the old man can say. Ask about Patrick. He says that while Patrick was a bit of a layabout, he was fond of studying. Carl asked for some books for his son, but Rannick didn't have them. But that good-for-nothing Shimmer did. Carl turned him into the authorities afterwards, and rightly so. Let's go about Martha. He says that she was a good girl, but poorly treated. Once she lost her doll, Naira, and went around asking everyone about it. She came knocking at the door three times, and Mike wasn't able to take a nap after lunch. This is Rosa Rannick, a pleasant old lady. It's still unclear how she manages to avoid the blissful sleep. Ugh. She says that Anna loved her children very much. She would have done anything for them. When Patrick needed money for university, she tried to sell her belongings. She hoped that Carl would sort it out, but he failed to get money for his son and Patrick was expelled. Rosa remembers that once she found him crying, him being Patrick, crying in the laundry room. It turned out that his girlfriend, Andrea Korczyk, and her whole family had been executed at the border. Wow! I mean, didn't know that. Rosa says that Martha was a sweet girl who loved candies as much as the next child. Once she told everyone that brother had taken a pair of glasses belonging to Mark, Rosa's husband, just so she could get candy. Was going to call the police. Okay, talk to Aloysius Spack, a famous surgeon. He says that Carl helped him with his personal life. He lived in another building for a while, but then came back. He says that Anna was a wonderful woman, but she had frail nerves. She died a month after they took Carl. The children had already died by then. In my storyline, didn't she die before that? I don't think she... I, I think I was the only one left alive. When it came to Victor, she shot Bruno Hemp, the big boss, right in the stomach. She got 11 shots in return. Wow. Aloysius remembers reading about a cave-in in the mines. More than 40 people died, including Patrick Stein. It was his first month of work. They brought Anna the death note and her son's helmet. She fainted. Aloysius, with tears in his eyes, mentioned that Carl's daughter needed expensive foreign medicine called Leaf Spirit. And he couldn't help, nobody could. Martha died. She used to say that she had a little son inside her. That son finally burned her. Loy she started starts weeping. You've heard all the stories there to hear. The fate of Stein's family clearly left an impression on all these people. It's time to go home.
So I like I feel like part of it took over from my save from the first game, but not all of it. Um, let's watch the quantum junk heap to befriend them, and then I think I've got stuff to learn. Um, fast typing for everyone, picking code locks, picking disk locks. Let me finish this and then start this. And I'll do more reading tomorrow. Off to bed we go. It's a similar routine to the first floor, just that I am not going to do the work. I am doing fine on money and authority, so I don't see a reason to do the work really. It doesn't really pay off. So I already got the pamphlet for the weird cult, leader cult thingy, which I think means that one of the people can go rid of that. Then we have the lady... Passed for security, yes. We have the lady uh, who created us in the beginning, who was like, everybody's so smart here, I'm not smart. Oh. Conrad Redcrape, Comrade Weinberg wants to see you. Shouldn't keep him waiting. Uh, which we might be able to marry off to somebody. Redgrave, what are you doing, you scoundrel? How did it even occur to you? What are you talking about, Comrade Weinberg? You made changes to the firmware and replaced the vaccine they've injected the clones with. What cat got your tongue? Didn't think I'd find out. You can't hide from me. You're done for, Redgrave. Who ordered you to sabotage everything? It wasn't an order. He asked. His name is Horatio Newport. He came from the future to prevent a global catastrophe. Have now your trunk? What future? What disaster? You were taken advantage of to commit sabotage and framed and read it out as soon as it started to smell bad. You think so? You're a spectacular imbecile. Well, I can't pay off, so I have to make peace. If I had done this, everyone would have died after 23 generations. If I hadn't done this, everyone would have died after 23 generations of clones. I've done my duty to the future. I mean, you're breathtakingly idiotic. I literally cannot spare the breath required to spare it you right now. Great, take this idiot away. W what should I expect? Are you better off not knowing? Is that it? Do you have to go back? Wow, okay. I might have to load a safe space. Yeah. This is just the same. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the same thing. Uh, I need to go back and come back when I have enough authority. Give me a second. So I have a problem because I didn't save manually for such a long time and the automatic save is the start of the day. The way to get authority is to go to work and do stuff there but I cannot enter work without being called to the office and then if I don't have 1.5k I'm just done for. This is not fun, because like, I really didn't save at all for a long time, so I, I have a save back at floor 12, but none of this. And there's no way to get authority anywhere other than like going inside the building. So I don't know what to do, it's just a fail state, but I have no way to correct it. Because their save state doesn't allow for changes that would affect this fail state. Oh god, this is so terrible. Ratcrave, where did you tell him what I told you? Why? No, 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 no. No. No, that's, I wanted to help. I, I wanted to help. I thought if I stopped him, I helped. Oh God. Okay, so I've replayed most things. Uh, if you can see here, I probably have more money now. I had to replay, like, from the middle of um, floor 12. Wait, so it wasn't okay to tell them... Um, 
Um, uh, I thought that would help. I thought that would get rid of them. The guard. I thought that the other option would just be me letting her continue to suffer so I could get some money. Uh, what can you tell me about Maria? What about her? Good riddance, I'd say. Plat she's not here anymore. Not everyone can work properly. You're such an asshole. Everyone's such assholes here. Oh my god. I just want to be done with this. Done. Okay. So I gathered information about Carl Stein, which I need to report. I've gathered all available information about the life of Carl Stein. Are you sure? Yes, I've learned of everything that happened to him. It should help to evoke some strong emotions. Excellent, come on. And I haven't vaccinated the people yet, so that that doesn't trigger. I've developed a special interface for the data exchange with Carl Zero. Now I will create a visual simulation to make it easier for you to control the process. With this information interface, you'll be able to start a dialogue with Carl's consciousness. The task is to cause a peak reaction, making him experience a bar barrage of negative emotion. Uh, maybe it'd be better if you did it. I don't really like torturing people. And you have to try and control the visual simulation? No way. You start this, you finish it. But what if I fail? I mean, science can't do, can do anything. It's just a matter of how many experiments you carry out. And you have no limits in this regard. Okay, so I need to do it because otherwise I'll just go through it over and over again. Hello, father. Patrick? Yes, that's me. What are you doing here? Did you really not find any money? What money? So I could study at university. I wanted to finish my studies. I'm just a building manager. Your mother doesn't work. Mother's sick. We just don't have that kind of money. Just what I figured. You've never given a shit about me. No, oh, Patrick, how can you say that? Everything would be easier for you if I died in the mines, right, Dad? Isn't that what you wanted? No. no. I heard that you wrote a denunciation of the Shimus. Who are they? Do you remember them? No. They are neighbors. Clay and Maria. Tabaka still and a teacher. Shima gave me... Yeah, I remember something. Where do you care about them? Shima gave me a book for my studies. And, they tur and you turned him into the police. Me? But why, father? I, I don't remember. When Klaus was arrested, my mother committed suicide. It's all your fault, father. But I didn't want to. Do you remember that girl I asked on a date and you gave me money for theater tickets and flowers? Yes. Antra Gorchik. It was her name, father. I can't introduce her anymore. Why? What happened? Did you break up? She's dead, father. My god. You didn't give me money for us to save you travel the country. She and her family were executed at the borders. That's terrible. You ruined my life. Are you happy, father? Patrick, my son, I'm sorry. Forgive me. Oh, Martha. Daddy, did you already prove me what you promised? Martha, my dear, what did I promise you? What? Have you forgotten? I saw who took Mark Granick's classes and you promised to buy me candy. Of course I remember, you wanted candy. Did you bring it? No, Martha, I don't have any. Aww. Martha, my dear, don't be upset. But I'm upset, Daddy. Do you remember my doll, Naira? It's Naira, she's lost and you forgot about my present. Sorry, my dear. Shouldn't every child have a childhood? Not present, no dolls. Martha, honey, forgive me, I wasn't myself. And didn't you bring the medicine? What medicine, Martha? Have you who lives inside me? I told you there is a little son. And I'll die without the medicine, Daddy. Will, will you die? Martha, oh my god, I remember. Yes, Dad, I will. Martha, Martha, no. Carl, I know, is that you? Yes, it's me, Carl. Martha's dead because of you. I didn't, I want, I didn't want this. You didn't want anything, Carl, except to sit in your closet and spy on the tenants. But Anna, do you remember what I asked you when Martha fell ill? I asked you to get the prohibited medicine. Yes, you asked me to get the prohibited medicine in the spirit. I couldn't get it, and I just I couldn't. Our daughter died, Carl, because you failed to get a little lousy medicine. And what about Patrick? Do you remember our son Patrick, Carl? Of course I do, Anna. You didn't help him either, Carl. After he was expelled from university, he went to work at the mine. But it's good to have work. Mine is no place for a teenager, Carl. Patrick died in a cave and he asked for your help, but you refused. Oh no, I'm sorry, forgive me. What for, Carl? For your daughter's death? For Patrick's death? 
For everything, Anna. For everything. Forgive me. Can't forgive you, Carl. I... Died you? Yes, Carl. I died too. I couldn't live without my children. With the monster that did this. Anna. Anna. It was your choice, Carl. I'm very glad that I chose you for cloning. Because every clone they make of you will suffer too. Suffer I know that you're to blame for all of this. I'm... I'm a monster. I let it all happen. It's my fault. I have to make it right. I have to make everything right immediately. Let me go. I have to save Martha. I have to help Patrick. Anna, I'm coming. I... What did I do? Finally, I did it. I found a vulnerability. You? Are you challenging my scientific seniority? No, no, but... That's right, but I'll make note of your effort in the canon of clones. Canon of clones? What is that? Oh, yes, I haven't told you yet. The canon of clones is the book that the clones will live by when there is no longer a single person born on Earth naturally. But why would they need a book? You've put everything they need in their heads. Every clone needs to know how it all began. Here it is. Take a look. Then we can discuss it. Okay. New Richard, read the book. Vaccinate people, get rid of people. Okay. Moving along, aren't we? I'm sorry, Carl. I'm sorry. You said we would do it over and over again, so... <sighs> I didn't want this to happen over and over again. Okay, I got some books to read, which I should do at home. I don't know whether I already went in here, honestly. So let's find out. Oh, more books. More information. And I probably learned the skills to also go into his desk and find more. There's nothing to be found here anymore, but then again, it's not really of relevance anymore because I really thought I'd be helping her. And another one. Oh, I already did this. Well. Whoopsie do. So let's see whether these are new. Letter. I remember the day your mother and I. Yes, we read this. Isaac Weinberg, talented and very smart, obsessed with utopian ideas of the perfect world, incredibly hardworking, but becomes completely impervious, impervious to external stimuli when immersed in his work. Thus, he may come across as absent minded, untidy, and unhygienic. But this is misleading. He's soft yet uncompromising. He exhibits absolute commitment and polite integrity bordering on madness. I recommend? Damn it. To be honest, I don't know what I'm writing these are profiles. All this bureaucracy gets so deep into our veins, mixed with our blood, that it becomes part of our metabolism. Each member of the inner circle is, in fact, at the very top. All these profiles and recommendations are useless, simply an acquired reflex. I'm afraid that sooner or later this announcement will become a set of instinctive reflexes that we pass down to our children and grandchildren. I mean, sure, that's how bureaucracy works. Got the report. Bit more. Oh, there's nothing more to report. Anyway, I should head home. I should save from time to time. I should learn from my mistakes. But I haven't vaccinated anybody, so it shouldn't trigger tomorrow. All right, I stole stuff. Yes, yes. There you go. I have a ton of money. So, reading some books. Actually, I think I should end the episode here. There was a long play time to recording time ratio today. But I think we're on a good track. I think we got this. Um, and I know what to do now with the vaccination. And all the readings and the watching of TV series to be friend to people so I can get rid of them. Yeah. 
So thanks so much for watching. I'll be back with more soon.